Welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book A Beautiful Mind. On May 24, 2015, the world was shocked by the news that John and Alicia Nash had died in a car crash in New Jersey. You may not know the name John Forbes Nash. But many of you are likely to remember the film A Beautiful Mind which won Best Picture at the 74th Academy Awards. In real life, the movie's protagonist Nash was an eminent mathematician and economist, in fact in 1994, he was a Nobel laureate economist. In the film, Nash's story is cleverly portrayed. The movie opens with Nash's university life, his roommate, and lodgings. Everything seems fine and peaceful. After his postgraduate studies, Nash obtains a professorship and falls in love with a beautiful young woman Alicia. They are soon married. While Nash's academic career is blossoming, the U.S. Defense Department approaches him, and he is given an opportunity to work closely with them on top-secret national security projects. Until this point, undoubtedly, in the eyes of the world, Nash is a born winner with a successful career, romance, and a loving relationship. However, in a dramatic plot twist, it turns out that in Nash's life, everything is pure illusion. He does not have a roommate. No agents are commissioning his work, and there are no secret projects. His wife is the only real thing in his life. Only later does the story divulge that Nash suffers from schizophrenia. All he sees, the activities and scenes going on in his mind are nothing but hallucinations. The movie is adapted from the book that is the subject of this bookie. While the film inevitably dramatizes the story, embellishing it with additional fictional elements, the book is a matter-of-fact portrayal of Nash's life. The mathematical genius had thirty years of splendor. He rose above his peers like the brightest star in the night sky. However, when he was thirty, schizophrenia struck, and it deprived Nash of all that was wholesome and assured in his life. There followed a harrowing battle. For thirty years, Nash fought against the disease, and in the end miraculously got the upper hand. He recovered and at this time was awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics. The book's author Sylvia Nasser was a staff writer at Fortune and a columnist at U.S. News and World Report. In 2002 she was a visiting fellow at King's College and Churchill College, Cambridge. Today's book A Beautiful Mind is Nasser's inaugural work, and it is the book that made her reputation. She received the 1988 National Book Critics Circle Award for Biography and the 2000 Joint Policy Board Mathematics Communications Award. Now, let's review the book A Beautiful Mind in three parts. Part 1, An Extraordinary Genius. Part 2, A Mad Schizophrenic. Part 3, A Sober Nobel Laureate. John Forbes Nash Jr. was born on June 13, 1928 to a gentle, honest, and industrious couple, a middle-class family in Bluefield, West Virginia. Though inclined to be solitary and introverted, Nash was regarded as a smart kid. At the tender age of seven or eight, he showed little interest in popular children's games like hide-and-seek, instead, he chose to stay at home alone reading books. His habits led his aunts to call him eccentric or a little nerd. But nevertheless, his parents doted on him and exerted a profound influence.